If it's makeup on the go, she's the girl you need to know. Tell your friends, tune on in to the next of Kim show. Could be fashion on a budget, it don't matter, she be on it. She's a gem of all trades. Next of Kim is self made. Girl, you know she did my nails. Yeah, she killing in the game. Just the other day, she did her hair, and baby, it was late. So What's up YouTube? It's your girl Kim on the cam and I am back with another video for the channel. Let's get into it. So first things first, if you're new here, welcome. I want to thank you so much for tuning into today's video and I'm going to ask one small favor of you, which is to subscribe. Subscribe to the next of Kim Nation, aka the Knock nation all right so hit that subscribe button right now if you have not and also turn on your post notifications you want to hit that bell that comes up right next to it once you hit subscribe that way you will know the next time that i am going to upload because i will be dropping bangers let's get right into today's video because I'm excited you guys. So if you've watched any of the other videos that I've uploaded so far on my channel you will see that I have a love for makeup even though I do not wear it every day. Anytime that I do decide to put on makeup I love to try new things, play around, try different colors, different looks, different styles and see whatever works for me. It only goes to show that in order to have a beat face the products that you beat your face with matter but also the products that you apply the products that you're going to beat your face with matters. Today's video, if you could not tell by the title, we are going to be doing an unboxing of some Morphe. <sighs> Let me take a minute and pause y'all because I had to look this up. For the longest time, I personally have been saying Morph and I had to take my trusty phone and go on Google and look it up and I searched it right here. How to pronounce let me see so you guys can see. This is actually a tweet on Twitter and somebody asked, how do you pronounce it? Is it Morph or Morphe? Because I've been saying it the wrong way and there they go, right there. Morphe. So that is how it is pronounced. I needed me some more Morphe brushes, y'all, because basically this is my thing. One of the first good makeup brush sets that I bought, brush set, brush set, brush I don't know what's going on, but it'll, my words are getting jumbled. I still stand by that company. They really have some great sets, but unfortunately this video is just not about them. So I'm not going to stay on that too long. My first official brush set, y'all gonna have to just act like I said that right, but I'm not going to keep correcting myself, was from BH Cosmetics. And then over time, I like slowly, you know, tried different things here and there. I had a lot of e.l.f. brushes at one point, but I never bought a full set from e.l.f. E.l.f. brushes are also good, but a couple years back, I tried Morphe brushes for the first time. You've probably seen them already being used in my previous makeup tutorials that I have posted on here, but the majority of Morphe brushes are actually natural hair brushes. So if you're not used to natural hair brushes, it's definitely going to be different for you the first time that you use them. But I have fallen in love with them because they really pick up product well, they pack on product well. As long as you take good care of them, these brushes will last you a long time. I needed more because, as I said, I only have those two big brushes and then all the other small ones that I have, I use for eyeshadow. So today, in this package right here, came some Morphe brushes. Now, let me put y'all on. Number one, all of these brushes that I have in here that I'm about to show y'all, I got on sale from Morphe's. Y'all bear with, I'm still struggling about remembering how to pronounce things. I wanted to go on their website and actually check and see if this is still active. So I'm hopefully going to edit this video and post it ASAP so that if you guys are watching this video, this will still be true. Morphe right now is having a brush sale on their website for certain brushes. And literally it's like 70% off and then you get an additional 30% off. But let me show you guys. So you're going to see. So this is Morphe's website. You go to sale and you're going to see right here, brush sale. Once you click brush sale, it's going to take you to this page right here. Okay. 70% off or up to 70% off. And then you get an additional 30% off with the code SOS. So that is why I'm going to try my best to hurry up and get this video edited and out to you guys so that you can take advantage of what I have taken advantage of. Okay. I paid at the most four dollars for a brush but these brushes were literally like one dollar two dollars three dollars that is a steal morphe brushes are not super expensive but this is a steal steal like you literally cannot pass this up you guys so hopefully as i said this sale will still be active by the time i edit this video and get it out to you guys so if you need brushes 
go to Morphe's website because they are having a sale. Big sale, big sale, big sale. Make sure that you guys give this video a huge thumbs up right now. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, drop a comment below and let me know. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from the Morphe website from their brush sale. So let's just open this up. And I'm happy that this came with the packing slip because this has all of the brush numbers and names on them. That way I don't have to pull it up on my phone like I was going to. So shout out to Morphe for that. And I have a total of 10 brushes, but there was one brush that did not ship with this package that I believe is coming tomorrow. The only one that is not going to be in this video is the M454 brush, which is a detailed crease brush, which is for eyeshadow. Let's move right on ahead. So take all of these out of here. Of course, all of your brushes are gonna come individually wrapped like so. And I'm gonna give you guys the rundown one by one of every single brush that I have gotten and why I have gotten them. All right, so first up, number one. The first brush is the M579 which is the Pro Flat Contour Brush. So that is this brush right here. Let me get my scissors. Boom. This is the Pro Flat Contour Brush, you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's just a short little stubby brush. I actually got this brush for my nose contour. No offense, I don't wanna make it sound like I don't love my beautiful black nose. But when it comes to a full face and I'm doing a full makeup look, I like to contour my nose. Normally, I just take one of my other brushes and use it to the best of my abilities to make it do what it do. But now, I have an actual brush that is, designate, that is designated for contour. So once again, you guys, this is the M579 Pro Flat Contour Brush. Up next is E10, and that is the Tapered Concealer Brush, you guys. So that's this one right here. This brush actually does have the little opening to peel it, so I don't have to cut it. Let's pop that open and slide this out. So what I will definitely say, all of the other brushes that I have, including the ones that I already previously had that I did not purchase with this, are M brushes. So I'm assuming they have certain collections. I'm not sure what the M stands for or what the E stands for, but this is the only brush that I got that was from the E quote unquote collection. So the only difference between this brush visually is that the brush is shiny. So all of the other brush handles are matte. So this is the E10 brush and this is for your concealer. I was actually, and this is why, this goes to show, this is proof, okay? Prior to me purchasing these brushes, the concealer brush that I had that I was using was actually the one from the BH Cosmetics set that I gave to my mom. So when I tell you that I gave her those set of brushes, I gave her every brush except for the concealer brush because I needed it because I didn't have a concealer brush in any of my makeup because this is also before I bought the Real Techniques brushes. Or this isn't the average like natural hair. I don't know if these are all natural. This looks like it might be a blend, honestly. Tapered Concealer Brush E10 from Morphe. So that's number two. Let's move right on ahead. Up next, M177, and this is a powder bronzer brush. So this one also, I did not have to cut. So what is going on? Why some of them gotta cut and some of them don't? I have questions, Morphe, I do. They don't really matter, but whatever. So M177, so once again, we are back to our basic, not basic, but the, the standard like matte brush handle. And this one is a fluffier brush, so this came with a little cover on it like so, because this is for bronzer or powder. Now, I am not gonna sit here and say that I particularly have or use bronzer, but I would say I'd probably use this for like my, um, my finishing powder or anything like that. It's pretty much a blunt, like flat top here, so you guys can see. Super duper happy with this. We're gonna see how it goes in terms of applying stuff to go in the order of what I have on the paper so I don't get confused okay next up is M423 and this is open this up this is a flat definer brush now y'all bear with I'm not super good with the whole like product placement showing thing with the camera autofocus so y'all gonna have to give me some time to get good at that the backstory behind why I got this brush this brush is actually, I believe, supposed to be used for like when you're doing liner. I bought myself this brush because although I already have, oh, this brush is so old, literally the words. I use this brush so much when it comes to my eyebrows, you can barely even see the, um, you can barely even see the, the number anymore. 
but yes I use the M4 let me make sure I get this right I use the M432 brush for like putting on my concealer when it comes to my eyebrows so as you can see this brush is not clean because I used it recently but this brush is similar to what this brush looks like so that is why I got this brush I won't be throwing away the brown one but this is gonna be like a backup brush to kind of help out because I don't really do a lot of liner like that you guys it's not really my thing I'm not too strong at it but yes yeah, so that's why I got that up next on the list I'm gonna try and speed this up because I don't want the camera to die. That I have is M553, and that is a tapered blush brush. So this brush is actually, looks really big for blush. Well, I do like a lot of blush, so it's probably gonna work out just fine. This is exactly what it looks like. This is another brush that even though this one is actually part of the M collection, but as you can see, it doesn't have the white natural hair brushes. These look synthetic but I'm not mad at what I am feeling. It's very soft, very smooth, so I am not upset at all. But yes, M553, focus for me. It's the best it's gonna get. And then this is the brush so that you guys can see. So this is the tapered blush brush. Up next, M326. That's this little baby right here. This is a Pro Precision Smudger. I don't know why I can't pronounce anything. What is going on? Pro Precision Smudger <laughs> Pro Precision Smudger Brush M326 so that and then this is what it looks like now this is literally like a super duper tiny smudger brush so this is for when I literally want to put a pop of color in the corner of my eye for whatever shadow look I'm doing or if I want to put some shadow underneath my waterline to make it pop as well so that's literally what I got this for you guys up next M158 this brush I want to note this brush I know for a fact is the one brush that I bought that was not on sale but I believe that this brush was the one that was five dollars you're gonna see why in two seconds because you can't go wrong you absolutely need one of these when it comes to doing your makeup but so this is the M158 angle liner and spoolie brush so this is a double-sided brush so you see you got your spoolie on one side yes and then when you come over here you got your small angle side like this so this this brush looks like a blend of synthetic i don't know if this is synthetic or um natural because it's literally like a blend i got white tips but i'm gonna guess it's maybe synthetic i literally just needed to replace the one that i have i'm gonna show you guys the one that i have just because this is my old faithful you've been so good to me but it is time to let you go you all scratched up but this is actually from the elf i think this is from the elf's like premiere collection line or something like that because the rest of the elf brushes don't look like this but i had yes i've had this and used this for so long and it is time to let go look at how sad the bristles are up here they're like sticking out and stuff so i literally bought that brush to replace this one i'm probably gonna use it a few more times before i let it go but that's why I bought it. We only got two brushes left, you guys. This is the biggest brush that I got out of all of the ones that I ordered. And this is the M107. And this is the Jumbo Powder Dome Brush. I believe the name speaks for itself, but if you are inquiring what I'm gonna be using this for, it is, ooh, static. This big fluffy brush is going to be used for dusting off excess powder that I'm setting or contouring my face with. So that is what this is for, okay? This is another brush that does not have the same natural white bristles. And for some reason, it's both of the big brushes that are like that, but I am not mad at it because it was on sale, okay? So that's what that's for. Last but definitely not least is M437. And this brush right here, okay, this came open, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just leave that there because this is the only brush that actually came with one of these on it. And y'all should know that most makeup brushes tend to come with these or they can send it with these because this really holds the bristles together. And I'm probably gonna keep this because I'm a weirdo. I like little stuff like this. I'm gonna keep it. But yes, M437. And this is the Pro Blender and Contour Brush, y'all. So just like that so you can see. And this is the third and final brush, I believe, that is going to have synthetic bristles and not the natural ones. I could use this for contour on my face. I may use it for that, 
but this is also for blending stuff together so for finishing up or maybe if you want to blend your contour into your blush and you just want to smooth things out that's what I would use this brush for you guys so these are all of my brushes right here that I got I'm now going to add them to my collection I am super duper happy with everything. As I said, I'm going to hopefully try and get this video out ASAP so that you guys can have a chance to possibly catch some of the sales that I got because I got literally every single one of these brushes was between one to five dollars. Overall, I'm super duper happy with every single brush that I got you guys. Head over to Morphe's website and see hopefully if they still have that brush sale going on. Do not wait too long because more than likely since they're on sale, a lot of these brushes are probably gonna be selling out super fast. There were some brushes that I actually wanted that I didn't get that were on sale but had sold out already you guys. So I wouldn't wait super duper long. I don't know how much longer they're going to have the sale up. And I definitely don't know how much more inventory or stock they have for those items. So if you guys want to get you some good quality but greatly priced cheap brushes on sale right now, head over to Morphe's website and get you some, okay? Period. If you guys would like to see me do a makeup look, in the future using only the morphe brushes that i have drop a comment below because i can make it happen do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up like it for me right now if you have not already leave a comment drop a comment below if you guys want to see more videos like this share this video subscribe to the knock nation and turn on your post notifications see you in my next video i'm out of here F -E -X -T -O -F